Hi guys, today in this video, I will be making a simple and powerful battery spot welding machine. For this circuit, you need some basic components like, some quarter watt resistors, 1 and 4 007 diodes, 1 UF and 220 UF capacitors, NPN transistor, and brain of this project, triple 5 timer IC. I also prepared the simple circuit diagram for this project where I used triple 5 timer IC as main component, along with some other basic components. For easy assembly of the circuit, I designed the PCB for this project. And the PCB is going to be look like this. You can download both circuit diagram and PCB files, link us in video description. In order to manufacture this PCB, visit jlcpcb.com. And here you can add the Gerber file I provided. After uploading, you can see the preview of the PCB. You can also change quantity and the color of PCBs as per your requirements. And then save to cart for checkout. Within some days I got my order from JLC PCB delivered. And the quality of the PCBs is amazing, and 5 pieces as for just $2. And now it is time to assemble the PCB. So, let's place all the components on the PCB according to the circuit diagram. And after spending some time with the soldering process, I cleaned the PCB with isopropyl alcohol. And here our PCB is looking nice and clean. Now you need a small heatsink, and some MOSFETs for high current switching. These MOSFETs will actually act as powerful solid state relay, so that it can withstand with high power welding discharges. After pre-soldering MOSFET pins, use copper wire, and solder all source pins together. Also solder 33 ohms resistor on gate of each MOSFET. Connect all ends of resistors together. Also solder the recovery diode between MOSFET sources and gate resistors. I used thick foam tape to insulate bottom of PCB and fixed it on heatsink. Connect a wire from pin 3 of triple 5 IC to the gate resistors. Also connect a wire from MOSFET source to PCB input negative. Use 4 to 5 mm copper cable and add 8 mm thimbles to one end. To another end, add 1 mm copper enamel wire to make welding probes. Now connect negative welding probe to heatsink as it is connected to drain of all MOSFETs. Make another battery negative cable like this and connect with source of MOSFETs. Positive welding probe and battery cable must be connected together with PCB input positive. Now we need a push button with longer wires connected to trigger the current into the probes. Solder it with PCB over here. Now place the push button on negative welding probe and use heat shrink tube to secure it at its place. Now the spot welder is fully ready and before testing, I would like to let you know that you can source all components easily from Quartwin Technologies, they offer all types of components at one place and can deliver all over the world. Over here you can simply search any component. And here you have it, you can find all details and select your required quantity to order.
If you enjoyed the video give a thumbs up. For more useful videos, subscribe the channel. Also check out these recommended videos. Thanks for watching.